today we're doing a Dollar Tree craft. Um, so you're going to start off with, you're going to need a, a flower pot, any kind. They really only had this one um, at my store. Some rocks, or even some beans actually would work. Beans are probably a little better, but this is what they had at our Dollar Tree. So that's what I'm going with, even, even using my Dollar Tree Betty Crocker scissors, which are really kitchen scissors, but... Then I scared the dog. Okay, throw this stuff away. Actually, we could probably use another bag of them, but this is going to have to be fine for now. The next thing you're going to need is floral tape, a bunch of flowers from the Dollar Tree, and pens. I got all these. You can see in my last haul, these all came from my last haul. And then what we're making are these cute, let me get a couple of them these cute little pens that won't walk away because people aren't really going to want to steal these. And if they do, you can hunt them down and find them. So we're going to make these. These actually make, here you can do this. This is the idea. And it looks like a little garden. And it actually makes a really cool little gift for um, teachers. We gave these, when my kids were little, we made these for their elementary school teachers. Um, but I did use beans in them, and then I let the kids paint and decorate the um, flower pots. So, you know, it was sort of a special gift from the kids. So they're super simple to make. You just need, oops, there's one more. You just need the flowers, the pen, and the floral tape. All of this I got at Dollar Tree. Every bit, yeah, I was trying to think if there was anything that didn't come from there, but they all did. So you want to take your scissors or, actually I wish I had used um, those snippers. You can get those at the Dollar Tree as well. Wire cutters, I think, um, because I kind of messed up my scissors with doing this, but oh well. Um, I'll have to get another pair. It's an excuse to go back to the Dollar Tree, right? So you just want to cut them Oops, I can't hold it. So that the um, stem is above the cap if, if you have that. Well, I guess you can't really use any other kind. <laughs> I guess you have to use this kind of pen. And then you're going to hold it. I have trouble with this part. So um, if you need to, you can tape, tape it down first. Then basically I start, oops, let me make sure it's all lined up. I start up a little bit. And this may not be necessary. I just find it easier um, for me to keep. I'm gonna take this off. For me to keep it uh, steady and to keep the flower on there. And then I go back up. You're just basically pulling slightly on the tape, the floral tape, and covering. I hope you can see this. Covering. Let me look. I can't see. Here we go. And covering the um, flower. I'll do another one so you can see. So you just keep wrapping and wrapping until you get to the top. And then I like to go back down a little bit. And you just tear it off and it sticks. And I'll do one more. Oops. Oh, then you put the top on it. Stick it in the pot. I'll do another one for you so you can see. Okay, so I backed the camera up a little bit to make this one, make this easier to see. So, what did I do with the top? Okay, so you start off, you make sure, it's so slippery, make sure that the stem of the pen is above the cap a little bit, um, just so you can get the cap on easy, easy on and off easily. I can't speak. Then you just start wrapping it with floral tape. I'm taking that off. Now this is the trickiest part because it wants to slide around on you. So get it started. Then I go back up. I hope you can see this. Oops, that's weird. Okay. So then you just go up. Oh, 
all the way to the top, pulling slightly on the floral tape, you know, pulling it taut. Um, and you can leave the leaves on or take them off. I just think it's cute. It looks more realistic, I guess, with the leaves on it. Go back down a little once you wrap it. And then just break it. Rip it. And there you have it. I think they're really cute. Here's the finished product. You can arrange them neatly. And I think you have a really adorable craft that you can do, your kids can help you with. It looks so cute. And not only is it pretty, it's functional. So I hope you like this video. Um, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, please. You can find me on Twitter, at Lee's Home 5 You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram, and the links will be below in the description box. Thanks for watching and have a great day.